Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jersey Zone. Today I'm doing the third and final part of my unboxing here, all coming from lids.com. If you guys missed the other two jerseys that I showed from this box here, I'll leave a link in the cards up above so you can check out those videos right there. But yeah, don't really have too much else to say here before we do jump into it, I guess. If you guys are new to the channel and you like hockey jersey content, please make sure to hit subscribe. But yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys the last jersey in this box. This one might have been the one that I was most excited to get, honestly. I knew I wanted this jersey from the moment that it was released least. It's definitely a very fun and a very wild jersey, that is for sure. I don't love every aspect of it, but I definitely do like a lot of it, so let's go ahead and show you guys what jersey I got. So here it is. It is the Boston Bruins 2023 Winter Classic jersey, the Meth Bear on the front. I'm very, very happy that I have this one. When I saw that they were putting the Meth Bear on the front of a jersey, I knew I had to get it immediately. There was like literally no question to it. It was just basically a matter of time, honestly, at that point. But yeah, not saying that I absolutely love this jersey. There's definitely some aspects that I don't like about it, but overall, I would say I'm pretty positive on this jersey. I definitely like the striping a lot. I think that is really neat. Just the black and yellow, I think look really good. The shoulder yoke looks great as well. This one does not have the Winter Classic patch, unfortunately, so I would like to get that at some point that is for sure but my least favorite part I would say about this jersey is the Boston text right there for actually a number of reasons the first one is because it limits the size of the meth bear on the jersey you know if you didn't have that Boston there you can make the meth bear a lot bigger so I definitely would have preferred that if you've watched me for a while you know that I usually don't like word marks on my jersey not that I don't like the font of this word mark right here or the script whatever you want to call it uh, you know obviously this be coming from the 2011 winter classic which was also basically a throwback back to I think it was a jersey in the 40s or something like that but you know this B I do like the B I like the stylization of the B the rest of it I think is fine it's kind of basic to be completely honest but my least favorite part about the wear mark here is actually the stitching you guys can kind of see from far away but of course I'll show a closer up picture so you can see it in a little bit more detail but there's a number of spots on this wear mark right here that has kind of like scrunched up stitching like it's very close together and it's supposed to make it look like it's handmade and handcrafted which I think is cool in concept and I talked about this when the jersey was first actually released however it kind of makes it look unprofessional like honestly it kind of just ends up looking like it's an error made by Adidas because of poor quality control so I like the idea in concept but in execution I just don't think it works very well I mean to be fair this is probably the best jersey to try this out on because you know it is a winter classic it's supposed to be old school and everything like that but I still don't love it to be completely honest I still don't think it looks that great and I would have much preferred if that boss Boston text was just completely removed and we had a much bigger meth bear I absolutely would have loved that and I do actually like the changes to the meth bear itself you know when he was on the shoulders he used to be yellow but now he's brown in this logo right here and honestly I think it looks pretty good in brown so yeah definitely would have preferred a bigger logo right there we can take a look at inside the back of the collar I do like the back of the collar here so we have Boston and then 012 2023 if I can kind of show that there you guys go I do like the design in the back of the neckline because it's supposed to mimic Fenway Park which is where the game took place so I think that is a lot of fun we can take a look at the back of the jersey right here so there you guys go nothing really too special going on with the back of the jersey I don't have it customized of course like I said this came from lids.com I'm not sure if I really have plans on getting this one customized not that I wouldn't want to I think the customization on the jersey does look fine but I am a Leaf fan so I don't really like a ton of players on the Boston Bruins so it definitely makes it a little bit harder for me to get Bruins jerseys but like I said I knew I had to get this one because of the meth bear that was basically the sole reason I mean it's pretty similar to that Pooh Bear jersey that you can see just the bottom of right there I knew I had to get that one because of the Pooh Bear and same thing with this one it's the meth bear I had to get it like it was just it wasn't really a question so yeah I was definitely glad to pick this one up that is for sure I could have got this one a little bit cheaper if I decided to go through dicks however you know I talked about in my previous two videos I would have had to get a broker and I'm not really a huge fan of getting brokers so I was fine with paying the little bit extra to get this one shipped directly to me but yeah very very happy about this jersey right here I knew I wanted it the second it was released and honestly even before it was released like just when the logos were teased I was like I, I probably have to get this jersey I knew it was a meth bear coming so I was like yeah I probably need this one and yeah glad that I finally have it that is for sure but anyways that is gonna do it for me thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think about this jersey in the comments down below and if you like the video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and follow me on all my social medias links are in the description down below but like I said that's it for me thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time